he wants to send the other pieces with the guys, don't don't do this yet again. Yeah. But I have to do that because it doesn't come in exactly how it has to be. Just make it perfect. Not perfect, bro, but uh, at least better than this. You know? I don't blame the guys who do this yet because this is a machine, you know. If they do it by hand, maybe it comes in exactly, but... You should make your own body kit. Okay. My own body kit? Yeah. I have a bad dream, bro. It's, uh, yeah, I saw it that big was in the entrance, so it came in a little late. And I, and I tell him... Uh, Hey, what did you do? Huh? Why'd you do that? Pick it up. Why? You messed up? No, I have to send him down all the way. Don't scare. Don't. Why are you scared? Look at this. Over here, this one is just all the edges. I have to send him down and live like this. Hey, so in my dreams, I see Vic was in the entrance right there. Yeah. He's like, what the f***? Don't have his face. See what time you see? He say, yeah. OK, you fire. Oh. And I see I come inside and I say, oh, all right. I take my vacations. <laughs> finally, I say, finally, right? <laughs> so I come inside of the way. I just take the red tool, this one, and, uh, and the black one over there. And I leave the black, the expensive, the expensive one. I leave it right here. I say, you know what? I'm just going to take this. I say, okay, I leave. I'm just going to take my other tools. I leave this one for you. Keep it. Go ahead. Just get the fuck out of here. Very freaking real. Right. When I wake up, no, 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 I got, I got happy. Oh, you got happy? Yeah, I got happy. <laughs> Finally, I got my vacations. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very real. So when I wake up, I say, woo, what's a dream? Oh, wow. Did you tell him about the dream? He don't give a damn anything. <laughs> Yeah, we need this wire. You don't know how to do shit. I did, it. I did your job. That's the coolest, it's not a chance. You don't even know who's cooler than Oh, shut up. Bro, you don't know shit about mechanics. Yeah, no fucking knowledge in anything. Bro, you don't know shit about mechanics. I'll embarrass you. you. He told me to order mechanics part because he couldn't order it. I didn't order the mechanics. You want me to, you want me to embarrass you in mechanical? You couldn't even order to mechanical stuff. I didn't order it. I don't even embarrass your body. for this i'm too old for this why are you doing this i don't know i miss the i miss the old days you guys remember all these crazy stunts that i used to do a long time ago that nobody's ever done getting pulled on the street middle of traffic and stuff we're just trying to remember the old days and there's the one last stunt before the new year 2021 is coming to an end yeah i'm gonna be pulled by a uh it's a g63 he said he's gonna break it you go under the car no no, no. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
Again, again. Hey, do it again, my more fast. But first All right, guys. You've seen this behind the scenes already. We talked about it a few times. We're not done with it. There's a lot more to go. It's gonna take some more time. We just 3D scanned the front end of the vehicle with the coolers in, the, in their position to clear the wheels. So they're gonna make custom metal bumpers for us. Completely custom, never been done on this thing before. And they're gonna look wild. So that's gonna take probably roughly two months. That's what the custom fabricator is letting us know. And we did not wanna keep teasing you guys. So we wanted to show you this Mercedes-Benz G63 pickup truck right here. There's none of these in the US. This is the only one. This is a 2020 model G63 and it's that factory matte color, really beautiful, great color. And as you can see, it has 38 inch tires on there. It has portal axles. That's why you see them sticking out just like the factory 4x4 in the previous model. So it does stick out the right way. It has proper suspension on there. It's lifted about three and a half inches. We're gonna go maybe possibly a little bit more. And uh, yeah, there's nothing in the front right now. As you can see, you can see all the coolers and radiator. I think it looks pretty badass, but obviously we have to protect that. So the bumper's gonna go there. We are custom making big flares for this. That's our next step that we're gonna be doing. So it's not gonna be like this. There's gonna be flares that come out until here. We're gonna be designing that and doing that in a cool way. Everything is factory if you go alongside the car up until this point. This thing was chopped in half and it was extended. It was extended along with obviously everything else under the drivetrain, drive shaft, the exhaust system, all that was extended. And then you see this addition right here, which is part of the pickup truck look. This is not done. This is the hoop in the back that we are making and we're gonna be welding that to the truck bed and then it's gonna be all painted in the satin black. So this is not done, as you can see, it's raw metal. So a lot more work to go on that. We were actually modifying a roof rack, which is right beside me. This guy is actually the roof rack that is going on top of that. The roof rack is for a regular G-Wagon. So we have to chop also the roof rack in half so we can shorten it because the roof is actually shorter than the original G-Wagon because we're missing that back section. And then of course, it's all 38s in the back as well. This is the factory flare. So this obviously, as you can see, look at look how much wider that is than factory. And uh, we're gonna be modifying this to come out until here. And then we come back here, which is the crazy part, the pickup bed. As you can see, it looks factory in the back, sort of like those G-Wagon convertibles that we used to do. Same kind of idea. The door obviously opens and functions. And we're still kind of working on this thing here, but you're gonna have uh, very secure locked drawers in the back. So you can put your belongings and you can lock it. And it's actually called a truck vault. Very hard to break into that, which is awesome. Rear window with the factory actual wiper blade. So you could even wipe the back end. That all works as functional, obviously. So yeah, this thing is so mean, it's ridiculous. We got Luis over here with one of the flares that we're kind of creating right there. As you can see, it's much, much wider. I'm gonna kind of throw it on there to show them the idea. This is not done, but look at that. So it's gonna be along the lines like that. As you can see, that's what it's gonna look like. And that's pretty badass, man. Rear bumper's not on there because again, metal bumper's getting created for that. But yeah, this is the G63 pickup truck. You've seen Brabus actually do this overseas. That's like a 800,000 to a million dollar truck that you cannot bring here. So some guys want in the US and we are able, along with our partners at Pit26 Motorsports, my good buddy, Sammy, we together were doing a lot of back in the day lifted G-Wagons and stuff. So he is the brains behind this and we're helping him out complete it. So Pit26 Motorsports, if you guys want to look into that, give him a shout. But yeah, this is insane. You won't see this anywhere else in the US. Really, really ridiculous. And also want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas. We didn't shoot too much today because the guys were having fun. As you can see, we ran over Luis. We dragged Moses on a makeshift sleigh. We were just having some fun. So yeah, wanted to show you guys that. Merry Christmas. 2022, we're going to go even harder. Appreciate you guys. Subscribe. Help us get to that million mark on YouTube. I think we deserve it by now. And uh, yeah, thank you.